The second option or strategy is the interpretation strategy. This is where you go through the transcript. You have to first understand what participants are telling you and then identify significant information. You try to make sense of the significant information because the reason being that directly describing the, what participant has given you um, will not address the real research question that you have. You have to first interpret, make sense of it. What does this information mean? Based on the meaning or what it means, based on your interpretation of the significant information, you develop a label called code, right? To help you to address your research question that you have. The last one is the inf inf inferring, right? You are making inference. How do you do that? You go through the data, you see the data as evidence. And then based on the evidence you have in the data, you want to come up with a conclusion, right? So based on what you see, what conclusion should we make? What inference should we make? What claims should we make based on the information that you have in the data, the evidence that you have? So you are making conclusion based on the significant information that you have identified. So based on the conclusion, you come up with a phrase that is in between or uh, um, two to five words to represent each of the claims that you come up with. So these are the three um, strategies of coming up with code. Um, you can use one when you are doing um, only one of them when you are doing the coding process. Um, in my book, which is uh, a step-by-step -step guide to qualitative data coding, um, I came up with three main types of coding strategy that you want to use to um, come up with codes that will be used to address or indirectly address your research question that you have. So in terms of the description, um, the label, uh, the name for the coding strategy is called description focus coding. And we have interpretation focus coding. This is where you, when you identify significant information, you first interpret or make sense of it, right? How do you make sense? You have to consider the intent of participant, the background of participant that will help you to better understand what a person is telling you or interpret or make sense of what they are telling you, right? And then based on that, you develop labels to represent that significant information and make sure that the label is also addressing helping you to indirectly address the research question that you have. The last option is also is called presumption focus coding. Presumption focus coding, which is um, similar to or is the same thing as the uh, making inference, right? Trying to make conclusion or make a claim based on what you see in the data. So this is all about coding. And after you have developed your codes, you move on, on to the next stage where you come up with categories and themes. And um, I may do a video on how to develop themes, right? So this is just a basic understanding of coding. As I said, coding is all about trying to reduce data, but your summary should represent the significant information that you have identified in the data at the same time addressing your research question that you have.